Great morning, Inner World. This is your favorite entrepreneur, Jorge George. And it's coming at you guys live. Just super excited. You know, we just enter a new decade. You know, 2020. We're about to wrap up the first month. So, yes, it's been 31 days in the first month here of January of 2020. So how many people, how many people, you know, have accomplished their goals? How many people, you know, are working towards their goals? How many people are still going at it? How many people, you know, are doing everything that it takes to continue to chase after the dreams, to continue to make the resolutions a reality? How many people are doing that, right? Right, so that's, that's great. Round of applause for you. How many people are like thinking about giving up, right? How many people, just be honest, right? How many people are thinking of giving up, right? Yeah, so sometimes, you know, we face obstacles, we face challenges, we face things in our life that are actually going to like, man, uh, discourage us from continuing to push, from continuing to persevere, right? But that's just, man, I don't know how many, I don't know if you're a believer or not. I'm a believer, right? That's just the negative energy. That's just the devil out there trying to get you, right? You know, that's just the negative energy. If you believe just in energies, right? It, but that's one of the things that we got to understand is that there's going to come challenges. There's going to come obstacles. There's going to come different things in our life that are going to prevent us from waking it to the next level. But guess what? You got to push. You got to go through that. You got to keep going. You There's no way. There's no reason why you shouldn't just keep going, you know? Imagine. If you could do anything, what would you do? You can do anything, what would you do? That's how you gotta live your life every single day. Like you can do anything. You're like, oh, but I gotta be at work. Oh, but I gotta do this. I gotta... Yes, you do have certain responsibilities throughout the day, but you gotta figure out a way to free yourself. You gotta figure out a way to make sure that you're good. Remember I made a video that was talking about that if there's no money at the end of the month, it's not the fact that you have a savings problem, but you have a cash flow problem. You need more income coming in. So if you need more income coming in, give me a call. 312-763-1132. That's 312-763-1132. And as we're talking about income, how many people just feel that they're broke? How many people, just be, just be honest with yourself, according to statistics, they say that if we do not at least have six months worth of savings, right, that can cover our expenses, right, six months, we're technically broke. So you might have some money in the bank account, but unless, unless you have enough to cover your expenses, monthly expenses and habits for the next six months, you're broke. That's what they say, right? So I'm going to be very real with you guys, extremely real. You know, after December, how many people just know that December is like the holidays, right? We're shopping, getting gifts, making sure, putting on credit card, doing this, doing that, right? How many people started with a negative balance, right? <laughs> All right? Two hands, two hands, right? How many people just like were smarter than that and like just had no no money, had a few cents in their bank account, you know, come January 1st, right? January 2nd, right? You know, maybe by the 3rd because you celebrated so hard, you only had like maybe a hundred bucks in your account. How many people, right? So so that's, that's one of the challenges that we face sometimes is the mental acknowledging of being broke when in reality, we're wealthy beyond measure. Well, you might be scratching your head. What do you mean? There's no money in my bank account. I do not have six months worth of savings to go. What do you mean I'm wealthy beyond measure? You are. I too started this, the, the, the month uh, broke, right? I too did not have any money because I was broke, right? According to their general standards of financial status, right? Because there was no money in my bank account, expenses, trips, you see, you saw me, I even had, to, there's some trips out about to, uh, to Las Vegas, there's a couple of trips, you guys saw me, but more importantly, I'm taking care of family. That's to me is the most important, and that my wealth. But how many people, again, raise your hands, how many people think that they're broke? How many people, two hands, right? Two hands, how many people think that they're broke? Well, you may be financially, not have that money there, maybe right now, but you're not broke. Because how many people, if you feel that you're broke, how many people have goals? Right, two hands. How many people have dreams? Mm, two hands, right? How many people have real friends that they can count on, they can depend on, right? right? How many people have ambition, like, argh, like they're hungry for more, right? Two hands, right? How many people have the ability to commit, have commitment, right? 
How many would know they're persistent? No matter what, you're going to keep going, you're going to keep going, right? Persistence, right? How many people just have tenacity? They're just going to go out there and do it. No matter what happens, they're going to get it done, right? How many people are creative? They have creativity, right? How many people have creativity? How about motivation? You know, are you motivated? How about inspiration? Are you inspired? You know, do you have courage? You know, do you have the ability to go out there and do it? Do you have courage? But more importantly, do you have the work ethic? That's necessary. If you said yes to any of those things, you're wealthy. You're wealthy beyond measure because it takes goals. It takes dreams. It takes planning. It takes ambition. It takes commitment. It takes persistence. It takes creativity. It takes motivation, courage, and a strong work ethic to get it done. Get it done. So no, you might, your bank account might say you're broke, but life says you're wealthy beyond measure. Question is, how are you using those attributes? Mm, how are you using the gifts that God has given you? Mm, are you using them to free yourself? All right? Free yourself, free your family, and create a legacy? Or are you using it to free somebody else's family? Mm, create somebody else's legacy. Right? There's two choices. We can build something for ourselves or we can go out and build something for someone else. And when we build for some, someone else, they're paying us hourly. They're giving us wages. But when we build something for ourselves, we're making profits. A lot of you are like, wait a minute, Jorge, George, if you started the month broke, how were you able to do all these things? Because again, goals, dreams, friends, ambition, Commitment, persistence, creativity, motivation, courage, work ethic. You know, these things that I possess make me beyond wealthy beyond measure because I embrace them. Embrace your gifts. Embrace that thing. Especially, especially your commitment. Especially your work ethic. How many people know that they can commit to something? Right? You can commit. If you can commit to something and stay the course, man, you're going to change your life. Yeah, there's going to be some challenges, but let's be, let's be honest. You can't spell challenge without change. Try it. Take out those letters out of the challenge. There's change in challenge. So you have to understand that you are wealthy beyond measure. And even if you say, well, I got no real friends. You have the relationship with the guy upstairs. Guess what? You're never alone. G-O-D is all I need in my life. Right? I'm grateful that I have friends Real friends that got my back. Thank you, Lisa. You know, I'm grateful that I have mentorship. Thank you, Harmony Backus. I'm grateful that I have business partners. Thank you, teammates. I'm grateful that I have, you know, the ability to continue to move forward because I know one thing. Mentally, I'm never broke. Maybe the bank account might say something different, right? Because <laughs> once we make something, we spend something, right? And we always have monthly expenses. But as long as you remember that your goals, your dreams, your friends, your ambition, your commitment, your persistence, your creativity, your motivation, your inspiration, your courage, your work ethic are also part of your wealth, you will never be broke again. Right? And when you have the courage to step outside your comfort zone and start doing something for yourself, I promise you, I promise you, like I know Tuesday follows Monday. I promise you that you're going to achieve your, your goals. But there's one thing, though. You got to take care of you. You got to take care of yourself. How many of you out there forget to take care of themselves? They're taking care of the house. They're taking care of their family. They're taking care of bills. They're taking care of things at work. They're taking care of this. And next thing you know, there's, there's no time for you. Mm. So see, that's where we got to start. Be a little selfish. I know some people say, oh, no, we can't be selfish. Oh, my God, that's bad. Not with yourself. How can you be there for somebody else when you can't even be there for yourself? That's, that's really, be a little selfish. Take some time out to dream. Take some time out to just set up goals, to plan, to create your life the way that you want to see it. Take some time to visualize. Take some time to just give you some you time. It's my me time. You know, sometimes they come, yeah, I don't answer the phone. My phone is right there. It's a mute. It's vibrating. But guess what time it is? It's me time. 
It's me time. You know, I got to take that time to visualize my goals. I got to take the time to visualize how it's going to feel like when I'm just like, hmm, when I'm helping so many people, when I'm making such cash flow. I just imagine what life will be like. How many people take a moment to just daydream? Daydream, right? Man, if you daydream, right, and you set, and, and, and you take those dreams and you turn it into goals, and you take those goals and you break them down and you turn them into plans. Man, you can even turn them into little steps like I'm going to do this. You can break it down in time frames. But guess what the most important thing in there is? Work ethic. You got to put in the work. And you know what? What the second most important thing is after work ethic? You got to have a deadline. You got to have a deadline. You got to put a deadline down that says by this date, whatever that date is, you got to have a deadline. And guess what? No matter what happens, you got to commit to that deadline. You got to make that commitment to the deadline. You have to, or else you're not going to achieve your goals. Just keeping it real with you guys, right? How many people said they wanted to travel this year? They made a resolution to travel. What's keeping you from doing it? Oh, I might not get some, uh, some, some work, uh, some time off of work. Oh, I might not have enough money. Oh, I'd... those are excuses you keep telling yourself. Stop, stop. The only thing that's keeping you you, away from the lifestyle that you want to live, is the same bullshit story you keep telling yourself. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. It's a mental game. You know, you got to have the proper mindset. And some of us need to reprogram our mindset. And you know why you need to reprogram your mindset? Because this, this thing right here is like a computer. This is exactly like a computer. What are you feeding it? I bet you your input is the output. The input is the output. The input is the output. So if you're out there watching trash on television, like, 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 like constant negative news, CNN, right? Constant negative news. If you're out there watching like drama, like soap operas, the people just backstabbing one another, like, oh my God, if you're out there watching things that are trash, guess what you're putting into your brain? Trash. So now, now, now you're watching a soap opera, you know, a novella. For us, right, Mexicans, you're watching a novella. You're thinking, well, they're jealous, they're, they're spiteful, they're hating, they're this. Now you become a little paranoid. Hey, you're watching the constant negative news, right? Constant negative news. Now you're becoming scared. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Oh, I'm paranoid. Oh, my God, what's going on here? Right? As opposed to having the positive, beautiful things that you need in your life, right? You need the positive things. What are you feeding into your brain? I wake up and I listen to nothing but positive songs. Things that, things that say attitude of gratitude, right? Things that say be happy. Things that just allow me to share this life. Because first and foremost, I woke up. Man, I'm winning already just by waking up. I open my eyes. I'm like, oh man, I can see. Okay. I move my hands. Oh, I can move. Okay, I can see, I can smell, I can talk, I can still hear, I can hear, I can hear, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me try to get up, <gasps> I can get up, I can stand up, I can sustain myself on my own two feet, oh my God, I can do this, wait a minute, I woke up in a comfortable bed, nice, I woke up, my, my house looks nice, I have, at least I have a house, right, how many people, right, you gotta have an attitude of gratitude, you gotta be grateful, you know, Abundance starts when gratitude starts. Once you have an attitude of gratitude, watch the blessings come into your life. Watch them. Watch. God's going to be like, man, he's so happy. Let me give him more. Man, he's so happy. Let him give me more. Man, he's so happy. Let him in. Like, um, you know what I'm talking about. How many people, how many people have ever given somebody something, right? And they were not grateful. You're like, man, I ain't going to give him nothing anymore. I ain't going to give him shit. How many people felt that way, right? But how many people gave somebody something like, oh, my God, thank you so much. Hugs, kisses, hugs. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. You're like, man, what else can I give her? Or what else can I give him, right? You're just like, the same thing goes for G-O-D. God is just looking at our lives and like, are they living a life of gratitude or are they just taking it for granted? A day live in the positive because remember, God put us on this earth, right, to serve one another, to serve Him, serve others, you know, to serve ourselves, right? We're vicegerents. How many people believe that you're a vicegerent of God? You know what a, a vicegerent means? It means a deputy. It means that you will have the same rights and authorities in this world 
that he does. Yeah, we might not have some of the things that he has, some of the powers that he has, but guess what? He said, you are created in my image. Ooh. So that's why I'm so handsome, because I'm in the image of G-O-D, right? But we also got to understand that there's certain things that we need to take care of before we, need, we, need, we can move forward. And that starts with our mind. So again, feed your mind the right things. Your input equals your output. Your input equals your output. So be conscious of what you're doing. And remember one thing, as long as you have goals, dreams, friends, ambition, commitment, persistence, creativity, motivations, courage, and a good work ethic, you'll never be broke. Deuces to excuses. This is your favorite entrepreneur, Jorge George Hernandez. <laughs>